Welcome to Aurora, the incubator of World 2.0. My name's Jay Skell, and we've been expecting you. You've been invited here to innovate, to invent, and to create. But we're also asking you to do the most important thing with your lives that you can do. Here, away from the rest of the world, we will build the tools to lead the planet into the future. A completely sustainable economy, a blossoming environment, safe homes, security for your family, and a community where innovation is celebrated. The generations that come after us may forget all about us, but they will thrive because of the work we do here. Thank you for joining Skeltech in a war. Together, we are building a new world. Stormcloud 1-1, one, one. this is Weaver, come in, over! This is Weaver, come in, over! Anything? Ugats. Contact, contact! Anyone read? Five by five, ghost lead. Who is this? A friend. 
I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead. You can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Understood. Ghost lead out. Stop right there! <clears throat> Who are you? I was invited. Who the hell are you? Another one. You can always turn around and go back down the mountain. Things are a little tense, you know? Just watch how you handle that weapon. We don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? The cave. So we call it. Get in. Are you boys all right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. <sighs> you boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tang with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aro went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skelltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. left who made it hey you just relax pal i'm doing what i can you damn superhero Ugh. here here's another superpower Can't find Midas. But Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. 
You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> Now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <sighs> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Mad Schultz sent me. You don't look like homesteaders. Well, I worked... I work for Skeltech. Mads is a friend. When Sentinel started arresting people, he helped us out. Why did he send you? My chopper got to this island from a Navy ship just a few dozen clicks off this coast. 
I can get these bolts back to that ship, and I can come back here with help. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly sounds better than taking a boat all the way to Auckland. <laughs> what happened to your chopper? I'm still working that out. You leave it someplace? <laughs> yeah. Maurice Fox, and this is my daughter, Harmony. It's nice to meet you. Call me Nomad. You know, we, we met another soldier. He said his name was, um, Hill. Josiah Hill? Is he here? No, uh, he helped us get around some of Sentinel's men, but he was injured. Well, I mean, not, not, not badly. We left him at this uh, fishing building area thing. I actually think I know what you're talking about. I'll pick him up after I get back. What the hell was that? Give me a minute. My God. Those people. It, it, it must be a, a, a new security programmer. Holy flying cow. My guess is, my guess is nothing could come to or leave this island as long as it's on. That must be what brought down my chopper. I want to go home. Me too, kiddo. Listen, you have to get these people, and you have to get out of here. What? No one is coming to save you, and there's no ambulance on the way. You have to run. You have to get to Air One. OK, yes, yeah. Uh, are you coming with us? I'm gonna find my friend Hill. That fishing building you left him at was a fallback point. There may be other soldiers. Good luck. Hey, Red Queen. White Rabbit. Nomad? Josiah. Holy shit. Nice to see you're still above ground. Anyone else from your chalk? A few. But we're scattered. Man, we sure screwed the pooch on this one. I saw Walker out there, hunting down our soldiers. You saw who? Lieutenant Colonel Walker. Cole Walker, here, fighting our guys? There's no way. He's turned on us, man. There's no way for our people to die. I guess duty and honor are going the way of the dinosaur. So what's your lay of the land? Uh. Either Walker sank that cargo ship, or someone he was working with did. Look. Jay Skell sunk that cargo ship. Damn. Everything that happens here is because of that prick. 
I'll locate Jay Skell. I met some Skell Tech employees. I'll see what they know. I'll try and round up more survivors. We'll link up at RP Delta. Sounds good. Mads, did the folks from the beach make it back? You mean the survivors? I knew some of the people on that boat since they were babies. I saw them take their first steps. I did my best. Your best? We were supposed to have a ship. Marines. And all we got were bodies washing up on the shore and some grunt twisting in the wind. Mads, this grunt did save a whole lot of us. But my daughter, it's not a small thing. I know. But it ain't enough. Not with these odds. This isn't over. I found my friend Sergeant Major Hill. We've got a plan to go after Jay Skell. If we can stop him, take control over the drone. Hold on, hold on. You think Jace is behind this? You're wrong. He's a good guy and my best friend. Sentinel took over the island. <sighs> Follow me. I have evidence. Well, I got more immediate problems. My people have to prepare for the long haul. You gonna lend a hand? All right. But finding Skell is my priority. All right, Fox. What have you got? I'm telling you, Jace is not behind this. Someone on the inside, this, uh... He sent me the video of the guy in charge of Sentinel. That surf on the south coast looks rough as shit. Don't curse. Seriously? Stone is gonna find any employee who curses? Ask him yourself. Captain Gibson, Captain Coleman. That's the two soldiers I wanted to see. Mr. Stone. Operation Citadel is an outstanding success. No communication of any kind is leaving or coming into the island. The drone perimeter is active. And while Miss Puri is out there winning hearts and minds, you lot are going to root out the troublemakers. Captain Coleman, I want those homesteaders under control. There's a cutting-edge technology that I'd like to exploit. Sounds perfect. Captain Gibson, take care of that terrorist bomber and those outcasts of hers. And we know there ain't many left. But they're in your AO. Find them. Squash them. Sir, are the holding facilities complete? I said squash them. Not capture. Don't y'all just love being in the South Pacific? The way the ocean breeze carries that scent of jasmine reminds me of Savannah. Now, y'all enjoy yourselves out there. If you see a ghost from one of those choppers, shoot on sight. Clearly, Jace is not behind it. Look, even if only Sentinel's behind this, it means your pet lost control of Aroa. He sank that cargo ship, and I still have to find him. He's the only one who'll know what to do. Fine. Screw it. He has a villa hidden in the hills. The door code is 120386. Just give him a chance. That's all I ask. Josiah, what is this? I found some of the others. Johnson. 
Weaver. They were good men. What is Walker after? He's lost it. Ever since that shit went down with Vaughn, I should have stopped him then. You know, Vaughn was worthless. Sure. But it didn't have to go down that way. What did you do? There was, uh... I thought someone was gonna shoot me. This is our village, Vaughn. These are fucking allies. She had a weapon. Yeah, she had a gun. Well, I don't see no fucking gun. No, she had a weapon. See? She left me no choice. You gotta be kidding me. You're done. You have wasted too much of my fucking time as it is. No, you can't do this to me. You did this to you. No, this is your fault. You kept riding me. Oh, Christ. Pushing me. You don't. You don't. Oh, man, my dad is gonna hear what you did to me. You fucking worm. You cry to your daddy? That what you're gonna do? Every single time you fuck up. You put the blame on someone else, don't you? Anytime you're in trouble, you just wait for that daddy of yours to swoop on in, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Your daddy, he ain't here. Fuck you. I'm a good soldier. I'm a good soldier! You are a worthless fucking human being. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on. Vaughn, give me your weapon. Come on. Walker. I've had enough. do he was done well now he's done besides if I didn't kill that worthless poke whole village might have come after us hey this ain't right Walker You know the rest. I know you didn't testify. You kept him out of the brig. I should have said something. Then we wouldn't be in the shit storm. No. You did good. Tell that to my soldiers he just shot. Find anything at Skell? This was in the computer lab. Well, that underground lab must still be in one piece. Let's go check it out. I don't know. I want to recon Walker's men. Find out what he's after. You see any familiar faces, don't assume they're friendly. You too. We'll link up back here. You Jay Skell? Come on, we gotta move. Shit. All right, 
right, listen. My name is Nomad. I'm part of a team sent here to see what the hell's going on with Aurora. Now, Maurice Fox said I could trust you. To be honest, I don't. But the people coming after you are trying to kill me. So what do you say we help each other? Is Fox working with Iana Puri? The woman who took over as CEO? Who's working with those animals? No. No, he's in the cave with mad shells. Cave? You know what? It's it's cooler than it sounds. Come on, grab your stuff. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta move. It's my fault. All of this. I can fix it. Yeah. The answer's the drones. Operation Citadel. Right now, Citadel's keeping people in. But we can use it to free Aurora. They tell me. What does Walker have to do with any of this? Walker was our military advisor. He led the takeover of Aurora. All he wanted was the drones. I thought he was a friend. Yeah. I did too. Well, that just brings a tear to my eye. Go, go, go! Walker. Josiah. It's good to see you, Nomad. Glad that you're still above ground. No thanks to your lack of trying. You have to know this is not personal. He has a reason for being here, and it makes sense. Josiah, don't be an idiot. That man is a traitor. He's a revolutionary. And we have a plan to make the world better. You, know, you killed my soldiers. You killed Weaver. We've chosen to become the warriors we were meant to be. Your masters, they just, they don't believe in anything. We'll make you an offer, Nomad. Hand over Jace. Join us. You, you gonna turn me over? No. Good old nomad. You always were righteous. That class is bulletproof. Like hell it is. We need to get out of here. That's the way out. Vent toxic fumes through there. It might kill us. They will definitely kill us. What the hell? Mads, this is Jay Skell, CEO of Skelltech. Yeah, I know who he is. How long we've we been neighbors, hmm? Maybe you should have tried to be friendly before you needed help. Oh, I was wrong. I thought you and your friends wanted to be left alone. It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Fox was right. He wasn't the one behind Sentinel's takeover of Aurora. Walker was. Now they're after him because he could take down the drones. And you think it's a good idea to bring the egghead here? You want to throw him to the wolves? It's better than the wolves coming here. Jace! Oh, Harmony. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm okay. We missed you. Are you gonna stay with us? Harmony, I don't know if that's a... Matt, is he gonna stay? You have to let him stay. Yeah, all right, okay, okay, okay. Of course he can stay. Awesome. Let's go set up your computer. Mads, thank you. I'm gonna do all I can for you and your friends. I, I promise you. You know, just how many damn computers are you all gonna set up? And speaking of which, your dad's got something he needs to show you. Fox. 
Mad said you had something to show me. Jeez! Oh, Fox. It is so good to see you. So great. Thank you for trusting him. He's here, but I'm still making up my mind about him. Shaw said you had something. This is important. Someone still with the company sent me this video they shot with their smart glasses. Terrorist activity was reported in your area. Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. A scale tech security alert is in effect. Just sit there and shut up! Help us! Stay and shut up! Do something! This didn't have to be unpleasant. Daddy! I'm just the guy you need for your wonderland. Daddy! I appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Don't you? Get him in the truck! Move it! Quit your caterwauling. Won't have any of my guests crying like a virgin on prom night. Let's go! Don't you glare at me, you son of a bitch. I'm a simple man. You promise to cooperate. And as you can see, I do not abide broken promises. My God, that's Trey Stone. He's the CEO of Sentinel, a private security firm. And you hired him? Not to do that. Miles, a government liaison. He suggested I hire Stone. Peter Miles. He's a company man behind Operation Greenstone. He sent us here. Did that asshole set us up to fail? Man, I hate managers like that. You were never like that, Jace. How involved is Peter Miles? Uh, someone bombed one of the labs at Manganui. The bombing was enough to push me into making lethal drones. Miles showed up with the funding, and we created the Omega security program. And then uh, Walker came on board as a military advisor. And when you try to shut them down, they took over. We need to get you civilians off the island. And I need to get reinforcements. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes! <laughs> That's my homie. I, I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. I'm working on an exploit, a virus, that can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes. But I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad, really. I'm setting up a workspace. Come by and I'll tell you what I need. This feels awesome. <laughs> like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, <laughs> I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome. All right, genius. Tell me this plan of yours. I can exploit a flaw in the drone control program to take control of a sector of drones that controls the perimeter of the island. But I need help. We need to find my head engineer. We need to make sure that back door in the drone's programming stays open. And we need an advanced AI we're developing. Who the hell are you? My name's Nomad. You were building drones for Walker and Stone? I... I was arrested for protesting. They made me work. Making war machines is the last thing on my to-do list. Yeah, well, a lot of people weren't sure what happened to you. Let's go. I'm sure more trouble's on the way. How'd you find me? Daigoro Ito. Stone said the outcasts were all dead. Not all of them. What do you know about Stone? How should I know anything? Uh, he seemed to know Cole Walker pretty well. They were best frenemies, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I think I do. Whew. I just can't decide where I'd rather be. 
blistering cold of this shithole or that rancid heat, humidity down in Bolivia. Uh, Bolivia, any day of the week. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I got this buddy, Stone, from the Rhett teams. He, uh, he set up his own shop doing contract work down in Mexico. He says down there the weather is sweet, women are soft. Man, yeah, what's the red team? It's retaliation team. Super secret squirrel shit. I thought we were super secret squirrel shit. <laughs> Not like me and Stone and the other two bruisers on his team. Hang on. Three targets coming out of the building, 12 o'clock, they have rifles. Ready. Three, two, five meters. Roger that, three, two, five. Hold center, send it. <laughs> Target's down. I don't know about contract work. Tell me that when you have two daughters headed to college. <laughs> no, look at that. One unlucky fella still squirming. Misery loves company. There's an asshole hanging out the doorway trying to give him a hand. Hold center. Send it. Target's down. Yeah, I don't know about old Mexico. Me and Stone, we, uh, we never got along too good anyhow. Hey, you didn't fart in my rack, did you? How's it going? Yeah, it's been quiet. Wake me up if, uh, things get thrilling. I first heard about Stone a while ago. Shit. Are you one of Walker's men? One of his wolves? No. Look, let's get out of here first, then we can talk. I'm not leaving the factory if it's operational. Stone is scary enough without lethal drones. Any ideas? I've been working here 15-hour days for months. I've thought a lot about blowing up the building. I've been preparing for this. I built a jacker to overload my energy cells in case they fell into the wrong hands. Just hook up this device, and I've programmed it so that once you're out of range, they will implode. It's ready. Time to go. Shit, it's Flycatcher. How bad is it? There's nothing a shot of tequila can't fix, all right? Listen, we gotta change your plans. 
We need to get you some help, sooner rather than later. Take me to South Cape Station. There are people there that can help. Come on. Hey. This woman needs help. She says she knew a doctor here. Paula! Take her to medical. Come on. I'll be all right. You're the, um, outcasts. It's not like we chose that name. It makes us sound like a biker gang. Yeah, something like that. I guess all the good terrorist names were taken, huh? We are not terrorists. They never are. We're always freedom fighters, revolutionaries, political activists. And who are you, exactly? I'm Nomad. And right now I'm looking out for Paula Madeira. You're one of the soldiers from the helicopters. That's right. We tried to help some of you, but we only found dead bodies. Why would you try to help us out? Because we need friends. Even if they do look like the Brute Squad. <laughs> the world is more dangerous to humans than ever. I'm Haruhito. I used to be an engineer at Skeltech, and I was happy, but... then some of us found out a Skeltech secret. Project Deus? Never heard of it. You've heard of transhumanism. Some of the scientists on this island want to force the next step of human evolution with technology. Project Deus wants to make computers that are more intelligent than humans. <laughs> well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Most people I meet are as dumb as rocks. Would you really want a computer running your life? We came to live here because J. Skell promised us a libertarian paradise. Project Deus? would put computers in control. And now you're here to fight that. Damn right. And Paula Madeira is a friend of yours. You'd be surprised how many people think transhumanism is a shitty goal. You can visit Paula in the medical bay. should never have helped make those drones. Guess I'm paying for my sins. Yeah, they didn't give you much choice. Yeah. Painkillers make me think too much. <laughs> I know you want something. Everybody's after me like I'm Belle of the Ball. I'm working with Jay Skell. He's alive? He's alive. And he needs your help, Paula. Why would I help him? Jace did this. This is all him. Let's just say he's seen the light. And he wants to fix things. But he can't do it alone. I trusted him when I followed him out to this godforsaken island, and he lied to all of us. He betrayed us. I'm sorry. But if you trust Jay Skell, you are just as stupid as we were. Paula, you know he's not working for Sentinel, right? He was. You should ask him what they were working on. Ask him about Project Deus. Hey, did you find Paula? Sure, but she won't come here. 
kind of hates me right now. <laughs> you, uh, kind of didn't mention that. I thought she'd be over that. Things ought to roll the way they are. Hope she'd help us out. Once I said your name, she wouldn't even talk to me. What's Project Deus? Project Deus isn't the problem. Problem is, she can only see the harm it can do. Great to see you again. Great to see you too, sir. Lieutenant Colonel Walker, Paula Madeira. Please, call me Cole. Paula is Skeltech's most brilliant engineer. Now, now, I've seen your uh, designs, ma'am. I'd say that brilliant, that's an understatement. And I've seen your resume. It's heavily redacted. <laughs> yeah. So I take it that, uh, that's not for the field test. No, that won't be ready for a few months. Wow. I want to ask you, the, uh, work you're doing on deep learning AI controlling these drones, how's that going? Excuse me? Using deep learning AI? How? Specifically, uh, data mining, target identification. We have explored those options yet. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you have the top computer scientists in the world developing some sort of supercomputer and you uh, haven't explored those options yet? He's talking about Maddox. He's talking about Project Dave's. Imagine it, using this beast of a computer, predictive analytics, finding terror threats, eliminating them with drones. You want to build a super intelligent computer, and the first thing you want to do with it is kill people? Oh, man. First thing I want to do is keep the free world safe. I'm sure that you, uh, well, you understand that. And who's going to keep the free world safe from Project Deus? <laughs> How could you? I want nothing to do with this. Don't... Just... Paula! <laughs> Jace... If she's truly brilliant... She'll come around. So you and Walker were pals, huh? Everyone was... Nomad. We need Paula's help. No one knows the system better than she does. I like you, genius. But some of your choices get people hurt. All the big choices do. Look, I know how to get her to help us. I'm listening. Two things. You need to find evidence on the explosion in my lab. You really know who did it? I'm almost certain the outcast did it. But you need to show Paula evidence on the explosive device itself. Second, you need to visit Paula's husband. She did not mention a husband. Look for him in a royal hospital. Nomad. This won't be easy for her. But after it's done, she'll know who to trust. All right. We need her help. Where have you been? I, uh, visited your husband. What is that supposed to mean? I found the Eternity facility. While I was there, found this research. What? What is this? Jace has been funding research into a cure for David? And he hasn't stopped. Even after you left. But why? Paula, well, Jace may be a lot of things. But he's still your friend. <sighs> Some wife? Acting like he's already... <sighs> Jesus.
We were a bit busy running from killer drones. No harm, no foul. Right now, I'm worried about everyone in Aurora. Yeah. Look, it's great what Jace has done for David. But there's still a lot I can do for Haruhi and the outcasts. No, I'm not sure they're who you think they are. Nobody's clean, Nomad. I'll settle for someone who isn't trying to screw me over. Where's your worm of a brother? Nomad, are you okay? Oh, wait, <laughs> wait! Piece of shit. You tell a motherfucker when you have him chase down a truck full of explosives. Or were you trying to kill me? Huh? Uh, uh, What's up with these blueprints? You mean engineering? Or you just bomb the shit out of dirty people? Don't hurt him! Please, just let me explain! Don't tell me this was your idea. Now wait. Just. You're wait. a fucking terrorist and you tried to blow my ass up! It was a mistake, okay? He got scared. The building was supposed to be empty. The lab was supposed to be empty. We were given bad information. You two are idiots. So all the rest of your outcasts. The future must be human. Project Deus wants to make computers that are smarter than we are. What about Paula Madeira? Hmm? She give you those blueprints? No. Daigoro figured out how to use her energy cells as an incendiary device. We kept it secret from her. Especially after we killed those people. Paula is too important to us. Are you still gonna kill us? Stupid is as bad as evil. But with Sentinel out there, I need you. Still, I'm gonna tell Paula what you and your sister did. Brute Squad, tell her I'm sorry. Hey, you. Leave me alone. I don't have energy for a fight. Look, I'm not here to fight. But I have to tell you, Haruhi and Daigoro, they bombed that Skeletech lab. I heard the rumors. But Haruhi and Daigoro would never hurt anyone. You know, they didn't mean to. But they did. I always thought... I don't know. 
Someone was trying to set them up. Make them look like terrorists. And they used one of your energy cells as the bomb. Daigoro was able to adapt the technology. And Sentinel... They figured out how to do the same thing. Oh, hell. <laughs> Gonna be okay. You know that phrase, the truth will set you free? Yeah, I've read it. It's not true. I know what Jace has done for my husband. And I know what Haruhi has done with my technology. Let's go to Jace. Now you heal up quick. Everything but my pride. What the hell, Paula? You're going with Brute Squad? Back to Skell? You used my work to kill 30 people. I can't stay. Jace Skell is a fucking monster! <laughs> what does that make you? Look what you've become. I turned myself into the person who could fight this fight. You're just giving up? No, I am choosing my battles. Ready to go. Wait, please, Sentinel! We found out that they have three of your batteries. They've learned how to turn them into explosives. They have lots of explosives. These batteries are tiny. They can be put into very little drones to make very big booms. Sentinel plans to set them off in the entertainment district to frame us. False flag operations. Definitely sounds like stone. Yeah. Stay. And we can fix this together. No. Tell me where they are and I will fix this. Fine. Not without me. And I know where the schematics are. I want to destroy them. Hey, glad to see you in one piece. More or less. Why didn't you tell me what you were doing for David? Man, I, I don't know. I didn't want to say anything if we didn't get any results. Yeah. Well, thank you. Of course. I mean... It's my friend. Look, things have been kind of intense for me. I'm not used to someone saving my life so often. Hey, I'm your ally against evil drones and wraiths with machine guns. Thank you for everything. Okay, let's fix the mess I started. How far are you? Basically, it's the architecture. It, it, it's giving me trouble. You are hopeless without me. You got some work to do. not with Sentinel, all right? My name is Nomad. Jay Skell sent me. He and I are trying to take down a section of the drone perimeter. The back door. She wants us to close the back door. Yeah. You're on the computer security team. You're really working with Jace? Yeah, let's just say we have a common agenda. You have no idea what this South African bitch does to people. To make them work. To make them do what she wants or think what she wants him to think, even just to get a confession. I've known people impressed by her set of skills. Look, 
Where's Fad Zabi? It's in Emudulam! Where is Fat Zabi? The hell, Vaughn? Been at this for days. You gonna keep talking to him or you gonna do something? Yeah, well, waterboarding doesn't work, so... I don't know what else to do. You don't know what to do? Lankan! Lankan! Hey, what the hell, man? Uh, let him be. Breaking shins is illegal. Zabi Kurjas. The valley you call Pandora's box. Please! Order up. Guess it's time to eat. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, now you know we can't be doing that shit. Christ's sake. But you want to split hairs over what's legal and what's not? Shit, this ain't nothing compared to what would happen if we handed them off to a real contractor. We used to work with this, uh, badass blonde haired bitch from South Africa. She loved torture, took pleasure out of it, but let me tell you something, she got answers. Yeah, now that was a confession you could count on. Goddamn daddy's boy Vaughn, taking his instructions out of his FM, playing office politics. You really want to work with a shitbird like that? Wouldn't you rather have a, a competent contractor in your corner? Yeah, well, not a bad day's work. I'll have my medium rare. Oops. <laughs> it's your problem. You guys are tasked to me. You're my thugs with guns. I'm gonna be real clear with you, Vaughn. We're here to babysit you. We don't answer to you. Now, you just stay out of our way. We'll roll you over. Some people I used to know were willing to work with a woman like that. What's your name? Carl. My name's Carl. Carl? I have to get into that prison and save the rest of your team. Impossible. That place used to be a survival shelter for natural disasters. It's sealed tighter than Fort Knox. Oh, well, who can get me in? I don't know. I heard some of the soldiers complaining. The office manager of that site. He's living it up in the Antares district. It was like a resort for Skeltech employees. He won't talk. Uh, well, once I find his address, I can ask him nicely. Thanks. Wait. The code to the cells. Only Herzog and her... The guy who helps her. Only they know it. She's always in the prison, but Sergeant Kent... The soldiers said he was going to his regular outpost. You hear a lot. When they put you in that little box, you're just happy they're not hitting you. You don't talk, but you hear everything. Thanks. You have someplace safe you can go? Because you can't go home. I have friends near here. You take me back to Miss Herzog? I've been good. Really good. Are you the man in charge of the Natural Hazard Control Center? I didn't want to leave. Mark made me. He said I needed some time to rest. Mark? Is he the office director? Yes, Mark. It was his idea. But she's not a bad person. She taught me how to see myself as I really am. Comfy? Hmm? Time to have a little chat. What are you... Is this about the back door? Don't worry about your little computer project. This is about you. It's about your future. It's about right now. 
<laughs> Let's be reasonable. We can talk. You don't know how lucky you are. Most men never even come close to their breaking point. They never tested. And why should a man test himself? I'll tell you anything you want. person with just a little smidge of money can afford so much of modern life. Air conditioning. Television. You can get food delivered right to your door. Just tell me what you want! inside that soft, pudgy exterior there's any remnant of a man. Because you look like a sack sewn from pasty skin and filled with shit. I want to know how far you will bend before you break. No, 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 no. I'm sorry she hurt you, but I need to find the office director. He said he was going to the conference hall to give a speech or something. Please tell Ilsa that I've been cooperative. You just stay here. Get some rest. I'll be good. I'll be good. Dr. Christina Cromwell. My name is Nomad. I was a soldier in one of the choppers that crashed on Aurora. I'm working with Jay Skell. He's alive? <laughs> I mean, Ayanna Puri's announcements are so scary. How is he? Well... We're working to get civilians safely off of Aurora. But we need your help. But this island, the ex-cop who works for Sentinel, Ian Blake, he's got this island locked tighter than, well, the surveillance drones we made to keep us safe. They're now keeping us prisoner. There's a big difference between surveillance to keep people safe and being a totalitarian peeping Tom. Yeah, yep. I can't object to that sentiment. Look. Now, Jace thinks he could take down enough of the drones so we can get some people out of Aurora and bring some help in. And Jace wants the AI. Bingo. The security team ran an assessment on our systems a couple of months ago. If you can find those reports, it'll, you know, give me an in on how to hack the AI. Won't those holes be fixed by now? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Most advanced place on the planet, but the bureaucracy is as slow as anywhere. Try Archimedes Hall. That's the data center. You should find the reports there. There's a pro problem. It's gonna take longer than I thought. But you can extract the AI. Uh, yes, maybe. I think so. What are we gonna do about my team? Blake is an animal. If he thinks they know where we are, I don't even want to think about it. They're scientists. They don't do well with, you know, violence. Leave Blake and the scientists to me. Just crack that AI. We're running out of time. I know of only one other person who can crack the AI in the time frame we need. Who? Grace Maddox. That's great. How do we contact that? No. It's complicated. Don't... Don't worry about it. I'll figure out the AI. Just... Please, save my team. Oh man, don't hurt me. Please. Why shouldn't I? <sighs> But we're stuck here, too. Look, Blake's got his personal security around. One guy left his post to see some girl. They declared him a deserter and beat him to death. Mm, sounds like you got it rough. Mm -mm. Blake's meaner than you are. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be sitting behind a desk in the surveillance center.
What rat bastard has the gall to step foot in my AO? We believe it's an operator from the chopper crash. We thought the wolves had terminated all of them. But then the drones over here started taking small arms fire. Yes, sir. Christ. Last thing I need are those cowboys stomping around in the mud over here. You pull up the feed from the drone in Sector 2. There, there. Zoom in. That animal, sir? That you nitwit, you soft-headed child, is a human animal! He's on the move, sir. Well, why don't you follow him, huh? Follow him! Where the hell is he? We, um, we lost him over the ridge. You mean you lost him? I'll bet your whore of a mother curses the day that condom broke, huh? Sir? Keep looking, damn it. Keep looking! Yes, sir. I couldn't find you with a drone, so Blake sent me out here. Told me to find you on foot. In the wrong line of work, man. You're telling me. Oh, man. Just make it quick. I don't really like pain. You're a waste of a bullet, man. But since I can't have you alerting anyone... <laughs> Maddox? Jay said I might see you around here. Did you find my team? Are they okay? Some of them are. They didn't all make it. Damn it. Maddox, if we can drop all our old baggage, we've got work to do, and I need your help. What you're asking for is not easy. To crack the AI, I need access to the drone control program. And what's stopping you? Ian Blake. He configured the biometric security so that he is the only person who has access to the drone control program. If you want the AI, first you have to find Blake and have him unlock the program. Damn. You're right. The Sentinel officers in Cape North should know where Blake's, like, evil lair is. I'll find him. He'll unlock that program. And you, Cromwell, what are your plans? You can't stay here. I can look after myself, Maddox. Of course you can. Nomad, my dear, I expect I'll be seeing you very soon. Look, we, we can make a deal here. I got secrets. Lots of secrets. Oh, it's things I could tell you about Jay Skell, huh? Give me access to your drone control program. Maybe you'd like to get some dirt on Walker, huh? I want you to unlock the program. Okay, all right. But you, you just gotta think bigger, kid. Silverback! What the fuck are you doing? We're tired of you peeping through our keyholes, Blake. You're out of friends. Oh, you gotta help me. God, God help me, please. Ah, ah. Yeah, I don't have to do shit. <sighs> the drone control program is unlocked. Yes, we've already started working. Will the extraction take a while? It's a very large program. Still, it's just a minute compared to the symphony we're working on at Project Dave's. Here comes the sermon. I am not ashamed of trying to elevate humanity. I'm not sure humanity wants to be elevated. Why on earth would you say that? Because I've seen people try. And somebody always throws a wrench into saving the world.
What the hell, Cole? That kid had friends in high places. We here to make the world a better place. We here to get a promotion. I always thought you were a little unbridled. But you're just an asshole. Sir, the lieutenant was out of control. He was mentally unstable, a danger to us and to the entire... Don't give me that shit, Nomad. If Lieutenant Vaughn hadn't killed that civilian, the pair of you would be rotting in a hole in Leavenworth. Ah, you always knew he was fucking useless. Everybody complained about his... shitty work. Goddamn sense of entitlement. You can't kill someone just because he's bad at his job. We are here to complete a task, sir. Would you sacrifice our mission? Would you risk our lives just because that kid's daddy is a senator? You're out of line, Walker. What are you gonna do, sir? You gonna charge me? You know something that'd be worth it? This here is about what's right. What's right? Murdering an officer of the United States Army is right? What's right is getting an incompetent counterintelligence officer off the goddamn battlefield. Who the fuck? What's right is protecting our mission from a privileged brat who fucks our shit up worse than the enemy does. Colonel, you cannot What's speak. right is standing up for something? Even though we got a sniveling hypocrite as a boss, a man with no balls, no vision. Walker, ease up. You listen to your friend, Colonel. You're ghosts, but you're not untouchable. I can't stand this shit anymore. What the fuck are we doing working for these assholes? They don't care how hard we work, they got no fucking idea about what it is we do. Listen, I stay because we do try to do what's right, okay? No, this chain of command. Goddamn sanctimonious bastards! You are a plague on this earth! You want to do us right? Well, you can. Not here. Are you quite finished? Yep. I think I am. Walker criticized those generals for sacrificing civilians, but now he's doing the same. I would never do such a thing. Project Deus is supposed to be the end of human history, right? The beginning of transhumanism? I get the impression Scale Tech tries to answer if they can do something without worrying about why they do it. I assure you, Project Deus has very sound values. Yeah, sure, of course. If you doubt that we're up to your standards, Christina, you should join us. It all fits in here? That's a DNA-based flash drive. You could practically fit the Library of Congress in there. Good luck. There are other ways we could help one another. Speak to me when you have the time. Hey, genius. We've got the AI. Oh, thank you. We, um, we heard about Sentinel getting rough on the people out there. Well... Let's just say Sentinel has suffered a bit of a setback. The folks out there are doing a bit better now. Good. Good. Look, we're close. Paul and I are so close. And this AI... It's gonna get us there. Now, aren't you looking riled? Are you running from somebody or to somebody? Laugh all you can. Have you thrown down with that son of a bitch, Walker? A few weeks back, he caught some of us breaking the rules. Did you guys ever hear the one where Little Red Riding Hood goes into the forest? But this time, she's read the fairy tale. So she brings a really, really big gun. <laughs> <laughs> So she's headed to Grandma's. And what do you know? Big bad wolf grabs her. And he says, no, I got you. And I'm gonna screw you on and on. Hey, hey Will. So Little Red pulls out her gun, 
she hikes up her skirt. And she says, no way. You're gonna eat me, just like the fairy tale. <laughs> Attention! Y'all having fun? Wolves! Huh? The elite. Best of the best. But here you are. You drunk. Fraternizing with civilians? And how about you, you pathetic piece of shit? You just let that woman take your weapon. We were just... We're just trying to relax, sir. <laughs> well, shit. I'm sorry. I would not want to get in the way of you trying to relax. And the pistol's not loaded, sir. Shit seems loaded to me. Uh, what do you think? You think you belong in my wolves? You think you belong on my battlefield? Well, let's see. Let's see. I've never seen a man move that fast. If I hadn't run, I'd be dead. He killed the others. Fucker's not big on due process, huh? No, he is not. He moved house after that little incident. Walker's a guy with a very clear idea of what an American soldier should be. That's not the only line you crossed. What's Walker's plan? You'll find the answers you're looking for in the Wolves HQ. It's to the south. It's called Shark Base. I'm only telling you this so that my friends don't have to hunt you down. Have fun dying. Hey, genius. I take it you didn't know about Walker Submarine? Submarine? This is bad. Fox gave me a file from his source. It's called Lynchpin. I'm getting real curious about this guy feeding us intel. The file contains analysis of what might happen if certain key politicians were killed, or if disasters hit certain areas. His plan starts with that submarine launching your drones, and those drones do their work. This is his target criteria. I didn't understand the sheer ambition. I thought they'd use it nationally, but globally? All made possible by my work. Hey, genius. You were trying to help. I've paved the road to hell with my good intentions. We have the program. We might have time to stop the submarine before it gets too far. But it's useless unless we can upload the virus. What about Fox's source? We know they have access. Fox needs to introduce us. I don't know where Fox has gone, but I found that video on his computer. I think I know who sent it.
Miss Puey. You must have some idea where Mr. Skell has skidded off to. I can assure you, Mr. Stone, I have no idea. This archipelago is large. He has many friends. He could literally be anywhere. Are his friends your friends? There a problem here, Stone? Well, hello, Colonel. Cole. Miss Fury was just uh, explaining that in order to find Jay Skell, we need to start raiding houses. I'm dragging folks out into the street in the middle of the night. Your kind of mischief. Know what your problem is, Stone? You like elegance. So why don't you regale us with your military genies? How do we apprehend... How do we apprehend Jace Scale? Well, how about we throw a little psyops? Maybe Miss Puri here, she can, uh... Ah, she can assist you. Wait, we see who turns Jace Scale in, and then your, uh... little band of rent cops can go and collect him. Now, is that something that you think that you could handle, Stone? Battle for hearts and minds. Very convincing. And they say Jace scales the genius. All right, Colonel. I'll get right on it. You were walking a thin line, Liana. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. No. There's going to be a time where you're going to have to choose between friendship and survival. Boy, oh boy. I'm just dying to see what you choose. Looks like trouble in paradise. And you said you knew who sent it. But... Ayana Puri, of course. She tried to be discreet about it. Secret mail account, encrypted sender, whole deal. Sweet, really. Ayana has never been the crypto security wizard. Her. She's the source. She sent all the videos since the beginning. She's trying to help us from the other side. I should have trusted her. She and Fox, they're very close. He's been protecting her identity. She's in trouble, and Fox is trying to help. He knew we didn't trust her. Oh, Fox. He's going to get himself killed. Fox would have looked for Ayana at Skell Invest. I've got to follow Fox and save both of them. Just keep working on that virus, genius. Time's not on our side. woman who killed me knows where. Oh, come on, Fox. You can do this, okay? You just think of harmony. Oh, she's all I... 
What would she think of me if I didn't try and help a friend? If I did nothing? Get on your feet, Fox. You can do this. Jace. Did you find my dad? I'm sorry, kid. Don't say it. Harmony. If you don't say it, it isn't true. If he doesn't say it, daddy's alive. Don't let him say it, Jace. Don't let him. I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm so sorry. And Ayana? I know where she is. I can bring her back. I couldn't help Fox, but I can bring her back. <laughs> Please, try. Save Ayana. There's no one else. Nomad. I feel like... Because we didn't trust her when we should have... I feel like we owe Ayana. We really need to help her now. Yeah. Josiah ha I mean, Sergeant Major Hill has her. I think I know where he took her. I can help her. Look... Ayana risked a lot for everyone else, you know? You don't have to tell me that. And we still need her help. She'll know where the drone control program is broadcast. I'll provide you with a key to plug into their CPU. We'll have the drones working for us. All right, genius. I'll find her and we'll get us some drones. Where's Ayana Puri? Is she alive? I never kill nobody in cold blood. People change? Well, that's right. Now I see why Walker came here and took over. You see it too. Whatever Walker wanted. What's happening to these people? It ain't right and it won't end here. Help me fix it before the drones get off the island. It's bad. What's happening to these folks? But times are changing. Change hurts. We're doing the right thing. Beating down civilians? You got a funny notion of right. Who do you think you are? Hero. These people don't even want to know you exist. I didn't join for the applause. No. You joined to save the world. But even World 2.0, it's just blood, mud, and cum. We die so assholes like Ayana Puri could live a shiny fantasy. If that's what the job requires, you're not gonna win. Our Wonderland is bigger than a couple of islands in the middle of nowhere. But if you want to die for a Yana Puri, she's right in here. Are you 
you hurt? No. I'm fine. You're one of those ghosts tearing up all Rua. Call me Nomad. I worked with Jace Skell, and I knew Fox. Knew? Is Fox? He thought he could help you. He got in Yellow Leg's way. Harmony. She's as safe as any of us. <sighs> Listen. Walker was working with a CIA officer named Peter Miles. <laughs> I already owe Miles. And there's someone else. Someone higher up. Using the drones was his plan all along. You got a name? They would never say. I suppose I'm not being very helpful. I need to stop Walker's submarine. Skell and Paula Madeira wrote a virus to get us past the drone perimeter, but we need to transmit that virus from their main communications tower. I know where that is. Walker moved his headquarters there. You don't have much time. Go on. I can look after myself. Part of me is glad you're still alive. It's too bad I'm gonna have to kill you. You could just give up. Hey, you know me better than that. I don't know you at all anymore. The Walker I knew never would have been a part of this. And he never would have killed his own. I've been trying to show you you got no vision on what the future could be. No man, it's not too late. You could join me. You killed my soldiers. And you made me kill my friend. Now you're making me kill mine. <laughs> <laughs> This is the hot part of Bolivia. Who's that? Eat my shit. <laughs> Only if you cuddle me after. <laughs> well, well, well. You must be nomad, Walker. Did, uh... Did you and I go through part of selection together? No, it was jump school. I was in the chalk next to yours. <laughs> That's right. But that, uh, dude from Pararescue, right? First recon guys? <laughs> fun times, man. Well, I got, uh, got some more fun for you. This here's your briefing. Say, you, uh, you want some candy? Hey. Excuse me. We haven't even started this mission.
man's already talking about sending us back to the Middle East. Again? And that's one that never ends. That's because, uh, man, war's easier in peace. Company man back there, who you never saw, by the way, he, uh... He believes in this fantasy, it's called Wonderland, where, where people never fight. It's all rainbows and marshmallows and unicorns and shit, but, uh... I guess we could talk about that another time. Yeah. Say, Nomad, it's good to see you. You too, man. You stay healthy. Always. <laughs> Look what your Wonderland got you. You are a better man than this, Walker. Nomad to Air One. I'm plugged in. Transmit that virus. Understood. We're sending now. Your man saved me some of that moonshine. I guess we're stuck here a little while longer, huh? Well, we stopped Walker from taking the drones off the island. That's not small potatoes. Y'all know what Wonderland is? Walker mentioned it. Other people working for him and Stone mentioned it too. I heard Walker and Stone talk about it. Well, I never got a full explanation. Sounds like Lewis Carroll. Alice in Wonderland? Yeah. Yeah, he said I couldn't stop it. Oh, forget about it, all right? This island is full of crazy billionaires. People who think they're wolves. <laughs> Killer robots. And military contractors. But it is also full of really, really good people. And we got together, and we did something good, and we should be proud of that. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Look at those birds. <laughs> those aren't birds. That's fascinating. We didn't program that. Aruhi! you pay my bills it don't make me your bitch well, i don't know how scale took control of that sector but it doesn't have it now how's that <sighs> well you tell the big boss not to get his panties in a twist 
Oh, well. I'm on the island. So with Walker gone, I guess that puts me in charge. next.